Uh, I'm the teacher of engineering and architecture. My name is uh, Mr. Tommy Reyes, and I'm going to go through the sequence of classes you need to take to complete this uh, program. Um, and then I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, each of the classes. And uh, so your first class you're going to take in 10th grade would be working drawing class. We'll go over that. Uh, and then after that will be uh, your 11th grade uh, engineering class. And we'll go over that as well. Your material science is taken in your senior year in 12th grade. Um, and we'll go over a little bit of that. Uh, and then we'll go a little bit about the potential employment salaries that you can gain from taking um, these courses uh, and then going a little bit beyond into your um, higher education. And so let's begin. So working drawings, um, typically we do projects. Um, this semester we did a coffee shop and an apartment. And in order to design anything, we started doing case studies. And so this is what the case studies look like. Um, the coffee shop, we went and got, studied the scope of work and understood what um, the coffee shop needed. Uh, we drew an existing floor plan, so we did a measurement of the entire classroom. We drew those plans out, and then we changed it completely from a classroom into a coffee shop, and this is our proposed plan. Um, we did other drawings uh, that you'll get accustomed to when you take this class. Um, the next project um, was the apartment project. So um, we did a case study on these. And we looked at different items such as the um, sun path, the weather, wind studies, and then we got into the actual project itself. And we started doing um, three-dimensional designs with the uh, existing and the proposed floor plan. And this was our project. Um, so this is this is it. We drew this up in a program called SketchUp, and this is a little video walkthrough. It's super quick, I know, but you know, let's get on to it. The next project was the apartment project. Um, we went through a lot of design process and coming up with um, this apartment complex. And here's a little walkthrough of one of the designs that was created. Um, you can see it's has everything you need for a person to live and comfortably in an apartment and that's what we created. Um, next we'll jump into the engineering class. So the engineering we go ahead and design different structures. This semester we went ahead and did a bridge and this is one of the bridges that was designed. Uh, and here you can see there's a virtual walkthrough of the bridge um, and there was a lot of things that went on in this class. We had to understand the size of the bridge. We actually replaced the bridge in Pasadena. Uh, I did get the, the plans from the city and we, just, we did some case studies on the bridge barriers and make sure that cars don't go over the edge, people don't go over the edge of the bridge and fall off and make sure that everything's safe. Uh, and this is one of the designs that uh, one of the students made. And then once that design was done, we started putting together a presentation board, uh, and this is what it looked like. And we started getting into a little bit of uh, 3D printing, and so that's pretty cool. Um, and then on your senior year, you will uh, jump into material science. We will virtually construct a uh, tiny home from the foundation, uh, putting in rebar, and we go through the entire process of you know, pouring concrete, um, and then we start building the, uh, the home. Uh, we go piece by piece, and we do case studies for each individual piece, so students get a very good understanding of what's going on um, throughout the construction process. Um, and by the end of the semester, you will have built, virtually built, an entire uh, tiny home out of the materials that we uh, study it. And so something like this, a uh, program like this, can kind of get you into uh, different types of employment in architecture, construction, and engineering. And so I thought it'd be, it'd be uh, beneficial so you can kind of see the different types of employment that you can get from 
a program like this. Uh, again, you'll need probably an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree uh, to get some of these jobs. But um, yeah, like this one, um, terrain and map technicians, like you can you can do that with a high school diploma. But most of them need at least associates, and some of them need bachelors. But that's it. That's our program at West Adams. And